Okay, hello to the group. Uh, hello to the YouTube. This is John Sturr talking to you from Apex, North Carolina. I'm here visiting my brother um, for a few days and he wanted to get in some fishing. So I took him to the Bass Pro and we got some, um, some fairly decent, fairly advanced um, gear because he hasn't been fishing in about 30 years and he wanted to get into it. And once you know it, I didn't bring any of my gear because I didn't think we were even gonna consider fishing. So we got the uh, Bass Pro Micro Elite. It's a, it's a fairly decent reel, ultralight reel with uh, seven ball bearings. Uh, it's fairly lightweight. Drag is at about six pounds. Uh, mono, what we put on it, we put on four pound, um, but mono is rated at uh, six pounds, 180 yards. So good stuff. And then we're using regular uh, tried and true trialing four pound. But I wanna, what I wanted to show was the reel as an option for purchase. Um, I don't know, could be made by Daiwa, who knows? Uh, Ultralight series. And the other great thing, as I'm doing this one handed, it has the anti reverse switch on the bottom, which is very similar to, uh, to Daiwa type, type reels. Um, no complaints, smooth. The handle folds up. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a very good performer for what it is and for the exploration of trying to figure out, you know, what you want to get. But this is going to get him on the stream to experiment and do things. The rod is a $60 rod. It's the graphite, uh, what's that say, R1T, as I look, yeah, RT1, 5.6. And it's rated one sixteenth to one quarter, uh, two to eight pounds. As so I'm looking for the writing, if it can focus, and it probably won't focus. It's the GSS five six LS dash two five six lure weight one sixteenth and one quarter ounce line weight two to eight pounds. Power is light action fast. Um, I like the rod, I like the cork handle. Still has its, uh, still has the labels on it. Two piece, the guides. They could really improve this this rod if they used a, a stainless steel uh, guide instead of I don't know if these are alkanite or I don't know what they are, but uh, no complaints, no complaints. I think the rod was sixty, and the reel was fifty. So, one hundred ten bucks. You're on the water, which. You know, compared to some of my other rods, um, is maybe a little expensive. Yeah, that Shakespeare, I think, would have been a great rod, too. But but we were at the Bass Pro doing our thing. The other thing is, what's interesting, is that <laughs> the Bass Pro, right here in, in uh, the heartland of bass fishing area, North Carolina, didn't have hardly any micro, micro light type gear. It was fascinating. They had lures and small baits and uh, different things, but they didn't have decent reels and decent rods. Um, this was really hard to find, really hard to get. It, 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 I don't know. It's just, it's fun to go to different uh, tackle stores and uh, see what's going on, see what they have, see what they stock, and uh, just kind of check things out. So I'm glad I did. And this, this area of the country, passing bass boats all the time on the highway. Uh, old bass boats, new bass boats, old, really old Johnsons, small boats, big boats. It's a lot of fun. So I'm glad I came down, but next time I'll take one of my collapsible rods so I can be ready to go fishing. So this is interesting. I haven't fished with it, but I don't think there are gonna be any problems with it whatsoever. So I'm gonna give this a highly recommend especially if you're on a budget and you're trying to find something that's that's really, really good stuff. And like I said, seven ball bearings and it, it's a really smooth reel. So pretty impressed. It's, it's always fun when you're constrained, right? When you have something um, that you need to fit into a certain space and you figure it out. In this case, it's obviously uh, money, you know? It's money and not knowing what to get, right? 
uh, not money isn't great, but money is in dollars. So you try to do your best and you look at what's out there and you make a decision and you go with it. No complaints. All right. Cheers to the group. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, of course. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, numbers are coming up. Um, and uh, trying to, you know, work on, uh, jump through all the hoops to try to get monetized to make some money. And I hope, I hope that Trilene and Bash Pro are looking, are looking at this stuff because it's important to know what your products are doing and, and who's getting them. All right, cheers.